good? Yeah, he's saying go, go, go. Welcome back to the Acoustic Shop channel. I am John. Hey guys, it is New Guitar Thursday. John, I'm back. We got back from uh, Los Angeles last night around 11 o'clock. And uh, yeah, it's been a big time. Uh, we're going to be doing a very special unboxing because I came back to so many things. There's actually two things that I did not grab that are in boxes that we'll have to grab here in a minute. Um, one of them, when we get enough, we should probably do a like drive for this, don't you think? Uh, anyway, before I get to that, we do have Trent here. Trent Mullet Boy Wonder uh, is here. Hashtag Mullet Boy Wonder should be used on all videos from now on. And uh, Jason today is monitoring comments and going to help me out with his uh, audio. Jason, say hi to the people. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, see, it's Jason. Welcome to the melodious tones of Jason. <laughs> melodious tones, he says. Uh, what's that you say? Did you guys hear about the greatest football team in the entire world going to the Super Bowl one more time? Yeah, I heard about it. I'm going to mute your mic. <laughs> you can't mute my mic. You can't do it. You can't Go do it. You Niners. know why? Right here. You know what happened? Lamar Jackson learned. He learned a lesson last night. It was pretty. It's a pretty costly lesson, if you ask me. Right, Jay? We got Jamie. Jamie's on here. He's from here from the Antarctica, where we Antarctica? keep Antarctica warm by dancing to the Osmond Brothers. That's true. It is absolutely how you keep uh, going with that. You you knew I was going to need this stuff. Yeah. Are we going to do a light drive for this stuff? Because these are to open these. That's what we should do. Yeah. So give me some numbers of what we're going to be doing. I've got two likes. very special. Uh, cases in here that have not been unboxed. Everything else in this room, pan around the room, Trent. Show people how many instruments came in while we were gone. Some of the stuff is very special. There's Atkins stuff that is brand new that has not been seen ever by anyone. Um, there's a bunch of uh, Eastman stuff that came in. There is Yamaha stuff, an FG5, an FG9. Rosewood came in. Uh, we have Hind mandolins, a Hind guitar. Uh, I'm kind of walking through all this stuff. We have some of the new uh, PCHs that came in. We have the new E1P. I'm going to take off this championship jacket right here so I can get down to business. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, gosh, it feels good. Um, has some custom orders to show. The E1P Limited Classic uh, is here. Yeah, it's in Classic. I didn't even know that was uh, it was the true E1P Limited Classic. Yeah, it is. Um, all kinds of great stuff. Get what, guess what this is? This is the one we're going to do the light drive on for sure. A Bourgeois M5F has made its way into the shop, as well as a 1923 F5 Master model. This is extremely rare and is, as of right now, not spoken for. So the first person that calls and gets uh, got a lot of people that just didn't want to put their money down. They're like waiting. I'll wait till they become available. Well, I actually have one available. Um, we sold three of them, I think, so far. This one just came in, absolutely gorgeous. I, I know it's going to be gorgeous. It's just the way it is. Anyway, Bluegrass Picker is thanking uh, or is uh, congratulating us for 30,000 subscribers. Let's that is true. That. We just hit today 30,000 subscribers. Hey, do you have a graphic for it, Jay? Hit it. Go. I don't. Come on. I'm so tired uh, of this. I'm also going to show you as a new product that we did get in that I'm, uh, can, I'm excited about. We're going to have these in stock very shortly. This came in. The new Strobo Clip color. We got a, a, a early edition copies of that that came to us while we were at the NAM show. So I think this is appropriate. Jamie uh, Bulldogger is asking. I want to hear what you really thought of the Martin GPCE Inception. Now that there's no Martin wrapper on. <laughs> Let's be honest, John. Let's be honest. I. You know what? It wasn't a bad guitar. It really wasn't. It's not what people want it to be. Uh, because that, of a Martin. Let's be clear, that's the one with the new bracing? It's the GPCE Inception is the one with the skeletonized bracing or weight relieved bracing and weight relief top. Honestly, it's 
Here's the deal on that guitar. You cannot think about it as a Martin guitar. It's got to be thought of differently. It's supposed to be different. I thought it sounded a lot like a mix between a grand uh, auditorium slash... Now, for me personally, am I a $4,000 guy on that guitar? No, I'm not. Um, do I think it's got a place? Yeah, I thought there was a tone quality to it that was unique. I don't know. That's all I got to say, I guess, on Can that. I weigh I thought, in on it? I, huh? I want to weigh in on weigh it. Weigh in on it, Jay. I find that it's silly that everybody complains about Martin trying to innovate because they're supposed to keep the same guitars, but then they complain because... You don't need to put me on camera. Yeah, you but do. they complain because <laughs> they're still making the same exact guitars. That's true. It's um, unfair for them to... And it, and it is a marketing thing. It's it's cool sure. to be innovation. Well, innovation. Here's, here's the problem. At one time, the Dreadnought was absolutely a marketing slash unique guitar that nobody had ever heard of and was crazy and nobody wanted it. Uh, at one time, the Grand Auditorium from Taylor, the Grand Auditorium Cutaway, Dreadnought Cutaways, even general, even though they're not super popular, that was something that was just crazy and just, you know, out of the box. Something hits. V-bracing. Some things don't. Oh, yeah, V-bracing. Five, five years ago, holy that smokes. Was, everybody was telling Everybody had to have about. that move. And then it wasn't. And here's what was even funnier. I got a kick out of everybody got mad about the uh, uh, skeletonized bracing or however you want to call it. Um, that that was, you know, that's not new. It's been around for a long time. Yeah, guess what? So is V-bracing. It would have been done 20 or 30 years before uh, Taylor decides to go heavy on marketing. It's what it is, guys. This has got to have some newness. Otherwise, I keep seeing the same. All right, we have a D28 that now has a new inlay at the 14th fret that we've never used before. Guys, it's new. It's wonderful. It's different. Is it for me? Probably not. Uh, but I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I, re, I genuinely don't have a problem with it. I'm glad to see companies like Martin still trying something different, even if it doesn't hit all the way. All right. That's it. Before I'm done. we move on to un yeah, unboxing, on okay. we, got a, we got a friend here from the local. He says, it's Sievert Gaming. He says, I live in town and can't wait to come into the shop for the first time. I just started Banjo and heard to go to the acoustic shop for some finger picks. Yeah, we got them. Come on in. So we got banjo visit. stuff. I got banjo mutes. If you just started playing banjo, the first thing I'm going to recommend is a mute so that whoever else is around you will feel better about life. Because, trust me, I love banjos. Don't get me wrong. I really do. I grew up with one. But, man, if I would have been able to get my dad to use a banjo mute while we were growing up, I would have felt a lot better about life. Um, I couldn't watch TV. I couldn't watch anything without hearing banjo backdrop for it. It's, it was it was an awful deal. So. Two more things before we go to All right. I'm sorry. We're going to interrupt. We got D Delane Pascal asking, why did Eastman discontinue the MD515 CCN? They did not uh, discontinue the uh, 515 CCN. It is now the 515 CCN TV. CCTV. TV. That's what it is. Not with an N. Close caption. Here, here's why. I want to, yeah, it's a CCTV. Um, the reason why is originally when the CCN came out, it was supposed to be a vintage nitro. Um, they don't use nitro cellulose lacquer anymore, and that's what that original finish was done. It had been changed over years and years ago, but the, uh, the name sounded silly to call it a vintage nitro when it had no nitro in it anymore. They had switched to the True Tone vin finish, so now they have that T TV, True Tone Vintage uh, finish. It's, a, it's still the same one. They did change the color of it uh, just to kind of give it a different, uh, unique deal, but it's the exact same mandolin, same finish that was done over the last three years. It just changed names because of the fact that it just didn't make sense anymore to keep calling it a nitro when there was no nitro in that uh, mandolin finish. Uh, they did the same thing uh, in the in the uh, electric bodies as well. They use that same finish. It still looks matte and thin, like a thin nitro that they were using, but it is a, you know it's a different process to do it nowadays. Is that enough for that? That is good. Everybody, Yay. there's some good questions on here. We're gonna open a guitar first, though. All right, and we'll answer. Don't worry. Cody, I want to get to you. I'll just start Steven. with this first. Came in. Uh, we finally got these back in stock, which is the Bourgeois Touchstone. Country Boys, I have a Dread and an OM. This is actually what I played. 
I asked Dana uh, to get me a guitar. He had Jeremy play mandolin and a guitar for the shows we played in Nam. And he said the best thing in the shop uh, was a Country Boy Touchstone. And he brought it to me, and it was fantastic. In fact, we'll be getting that guitar in here soon, too, as well. But here is the Country Boy Touchstone uh, Dreadnought here. I feel like they've uh, revamped the neck a little bit on these, but we just got one in, uh, which is a... The tops of these are hand done in Lewiston, Maine by the Lewiston team at Bourgeois. They are voiced, they are tap toned, they are shade braces, Adirondack spruce braces, as well as Adirondack, or sorry, Sitka spruce top, done just like a. Um, I'm going to need a stool because I cannot squat down today. I did that yesterday. Jay, will you free up that stool here in a minute? Um, I'm busy running the live stream. I know you are. Um, <laughs> You're the best, Jake. I appreciate you. Cut of my killer, uh, the one I had. Again, mahogany back and sides on these guys. Um, this has the Alaskan spruce top, uh, Sitka spruce top. Hand done, they sound great. Um, just an overall great build and a, extremely affordable. I want to say these fall at a $27.99 price point um, with the lifetime warranty. Everything is a, a, a bourgeois guitar. So we have a country boy in an OM and a country boy in a dread. By the way, all these are available right now. They are not on the website because they haven't had a chance to know these have been photographed yet because we had half the team with us to do it. But they are built into our system. If you have any questions on anything that I open up today, call the shops, 417-720-1223. Um, call over there. I believe right now we do have Corey is over there. I believe Tyler's over there. And I believe Austin's also over there right now. So we have a big full run of folks over there. They can answer your questions. So OM is available. Dread is available. I'll open the OM if somebody wants to see that. So we got go. one question before we go to the next guitar. Go ahead. Is it possible to order an Eastman AC630 with the varnish? No, it is not. Not as of yet. Varnish has been really hard to get in. They're not doing a lot of custom builds. Getting them to do the TAS guitar was a, uh, a heavy, heavy task to get them convinced to do something like that. So it's just, they're not built to do custom orders and build it that way. So as of right now, I'm going to say full on no. Um, I'm going to say it's never possible, but I definitely say you won't see it in the next two years um, is my we guess. We got Vince in the house. Hey, I'm Vince. Feeling. Good to see you. Stoughton. Um, all right. Here's something pretty cool that I'm glad to have back in. We sold the last one before it ever made it into the shop, and I bet we'll do the same thing here. It is the FG5. This guitar right here is all Japanese made. Um, this is like the FG3, except it's an FG5. Um, all hand built. This one is hand built in Japan. This does have the ARE system built in, which is their torification and resonance uh, enhancement. <laughs> Again, all these guitars have been unboxed, but they I have never seen any of them before today, so. This just in. All right, Jeremy just is just showing me this right now. By the way, all these guitars, are we still running? Dreadnought still program, still, the, the beta is still running, right? So the bed, Dreadnought program is still running. Any of these guitars that are over $1,000, you can still get it. That's going to give you 30 days of return time. That's up to one year of up to 90% of its value in trade-in, which is great. Um, but along with that, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff, including the temperature and humidity sensor. We just found out that the uh, humidity track from D'Addario is no more. So this is the same-ish thing, 
we have one, but look at now, it's got our logo on it. You'll be seeing this on every single instrument that you order from us over $1,000. It's on the box with a, uh, what do they call that code? What is it called? A QR. A QR code, that's what it's called, uh, that you'll be able to scan with your phone. You'll be able to know the temperature of your guitar as well as the humidity of your guitar before you even unbox it so you know when it's safe, and there'll be instructions as well uh, with the video that you do when you scan that code. So check that out. That's available oh, right now. All right, here you go. Hankery. I want love. All right, we got a couple of questions. Go ahead. Uh, what gauge of strings were on that touchstone? Were they lights? They're lights. Yeah. And Vince is wanting to know, do they qualify for the Eastman financing that's being offered until the end of March? No, the bourgeois touchstones do not qualify for the, it is a bourgeois guitar. I know that it's in conjunction with Eastman, but it officially invoices to me from bourgeois, not from Eastman. It uh, is treated as a bourgeois. It is a bourgeois guitar. It's voiced and run like the way they just have the rest of it built there. It goes back over and gets dealt with with a bourgeois team when it comes back to the U.S. Um, that's just how it will be. So those ones, as of right now, do not qualify. But that said, all Eastman instruments right now, over $400, have 24 months of 0% financing. This is pretty good, pretty killer. So uh, you can check with that. With it's super easy to qualify for too. Vince, Vince has a, uh, That's the same sensor that he has without our logo. Sorry, sorry, Vince. We just got the new ones in. Yeah, they just came in today. So uh, literally just find them. So this is the FG5. It is available as of right now, guys. Speaking of Yamaha, unless you got a question, actually before we do. I'm having so much stuff brought to me. I'm going to be talking out. I, I'm half Well, before we get already. any of that stuff. All right. Cody Head has been waiting patiently since the early stream. He said the Irish stream was hard to follow. How did the new Irish Dreadnought sound? The Irish Dreadnought sounds fantastic, as well as the Slope Shoulders. All the Irish stuff sounds great. I'm pretty excited about all of them. I know we had some issues there. Guys, there were like... 30,000 people all in a small area, plus Disneyland across the street, they ate our lunch when it came to bandwidth. They just killed us uh, on that. We did everything we could. We were doing pretty darn well considering, um, but man, uh, those Disney people, and, and also the volume, golly, it was, the, it was the loudest NAMM show I have ever been to. I just could not believe it. Hey, new stickers just came in. For the first time now, you have TAS stickers available. Pretty killer. I'm pretty excited about those. That's going to go on my water bottle. I'm going to put one of those. I'm going to put one on Jay's forehead. It's going to be great. I've got another sticker that's really killer. I'm going to show you as well. Small ones, but the Ozark Music Shop TV show. You can check that one out too. So I'll have those stickers available too. Um, as seen on the TVs. Um, speaking of Yamaha, I'm going to grab this while we're going here. I'm going to go horse. I can already feel it. We're halfway horse. Uh, from the whole show. I got another FG9 in, and I know we've got um, the mahogany, but I got a rosewood back in. So this will be the first time I see this. Did some content with, with these guitars uh, while we're, oh, that's so beautiful. I love this color for the rosewood. It's almost like a smoky gray color in this. I love that stain on there. The back is more so than the sides. The sides are more standard rosewood, but the back has this kind of uh, Smoky gray color. Alex wants to know if the ringing stopped in our ears yet. No. The ringing never stops in our ears. I'm yelling right voices. now because I'm still hearing that going on right now. Well, I can just voices. hear it. Yeah, <laughs> that too. to drive for the uh, 1923, Jay? What's yeah, your number? I think be? Hinkley said we have to get 100 likes. Hey, Hinkley says to open up the 1923 Gibson mandolin and check it all out out of the box. This will be the first time we do this. We've never done that before with the 1923. Open out of a box. You got to hit 100 likes. So if you guys have not hit the like button, do it now. Uh, just kind of back out of the chat area and hit that like button if you're on a mobile phone. Um, and make sure to like the stream as well. If you can, share it. That's even better. Um, because that's going to be killer. I can't wait to see what that one looks like. John, we got a question on Yamaha. Go ahead. 
How does the Yamaha, Yamaha FG3 or FG5 compare to an Eastman E6OM in size, comfort, volume, protection, tone, and weight? So well, that's a lot. FG5, it would have to, first of all, to be close inside, it would have to be an F, FS5. Oh, sorry, I said FS. FS? FS, my Good. Bad. All right, FS, and that would be more like that. It's going to be lighter weight by a lot, um, the FG, or FS5, because it's got that uh, one satin finish. Um, compared to an E6 is what they asked, right? E6 mm -hmm. OM. Man, totally, they're different guitars, though. I mean, if you're looking for more of a woody, barky sound, I would definitely say the FS is, a, is, is there. If you want a little bit more articulate sound, the, the uh, E6 OM it's going to give you a little bit more in the highs, not quite as much low mids and uh, kind of that roary uh, low mid section. Plus that open, you know, that satin finish gives you that very, very open tone, whereas it's more focused and detailed on the 6. So I definitely going to be lighter weight on the FS5 uh, as well. Um, the Eastman guitars, it's the one thing that some people get irritated with, but you can't really go with. They are heavier than some of the super high-end boutique builds, but yet they still sound like a boutique build. So I don't know what to go with that. Usually be, used to be a lot of people would be like, man, this, this is so light, it's got to sound amazing. Yeah, but not always. That's not always the case. So that's, there's my opinion on that. Um, One more Yamaha question. Go ahead. Any Yamaha CSF3M? CAS3M. CSF. CSF3M. I do not have any of those right now in stock. Um, I think actually that's the one that was left. Is that not the one that's over here left for us to go through? No, that's an ASR. No, not that one. I do have the silent guitar we're going to be talking about soon. We've got one of those for demo to kind of make, make some content with. I'm pretty excited about that. John I'm Hicks, you did not hear that they humid, they're uh, discontinuing Humidifax. They discontinued the Humiditrack. Track, yes, exactly. The, the Humiditrack is what's going away. All right, this is a limited edition guitar. We've got three of them. Actually, I think we sold one of them already. Is that correct, Corey? You just, you just stumbled in. Huh? One of these is already sold, correct? And we got yeah. three of them? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So this is brand new, very limited amount of number. I don't even know what the number is. This is the E1P, E1, yeah, E1P special edition in a classic finish. Um, this has an Adirondack spruce top. It is thermo cured, has it in a classic finish. It is Sapele back in sides. Um, super cool guitar, slotted peg head. Uh, a pyramid bridge, which I really am glad they did on this. Uh, I don't think we did the pyramid bridge when they did the E1 Limited before. Um, so this is a unique uh, guitar. Does it say how many there are? No, it just has a special edition label. Um, and we have them in stock right now, so I think we'll have two or three left. I want to say these are right, like eight something, eight hundred dollars. Tons of power, uh, great sounding little guitar here. So the E1P, uh, parlor size guitar, limited edition. It's the only uh, parlor size guitar they make in the E1 series. Uh, so that's super cool. We got a question here from Jeff, Jeff Simpson. Double O S S Eastman. Do we have one? Uh, which one? That's all I got. The E1 Double O S S? You mean this E1? Double O S S S B. Yes, I got one in. I'm betting that's what they're asking Hello, about. Hello, Steve Mooney. I bet that's what they're asking about. This is the E1 Double O S S. So slope shoulder Double O E1. Now this one will be a, a Sitka spruce top on this guy. Uh, so Pele back in sides. Um. <laughs> Thank you. 
There it is. That's the E1. Was that the one they wanted? Yes, the he e says one? yes. All right, it's here. Call, because I think it looks like, according to this, I only have one. But since we're talking about it, I do have, as well back in stock, the E1 SS Sunburst, which is really cool. I lied to you guys. I do have two of them. I see another one of the E1 00s. Don't tell him that. Okay, you can only get one. Uh, <laughs> I think that one, I think Corey's taking that over to a yeah. customer, right? Yeah, right now he is. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um, this is a great guitar. This is one of my favorite new guitars from Eastman. This one is... Ooh, I see some other special editions. I'm looking down the here. The way you pause there is like you were reading the description of this guitar after you said it's your favorite. I'm sorry. I feel like you're being disingenuous right now. I'm sorry. Is this one I love favorite? these. I love these. Actually, I do love these a lot. This is the uh, E1SS. Um, and they just announced Thanks, that they're Brady. doing this in a deluxe now, by the way, which means full gloss finish. It's more expensive, but... Uh, Such great guitars. I think Vince is asking about that last guitar, is Double O, correct? The last one we just played was an E1 Double O SS. Yes. E1 SS. E1 Double O SS. Yeah, well, that's what it is. And this one's the E1 SS. So I love those guitars. I want to say these price these do price out at 579 both of those guitars the E1 00 E1 SS price at 579 which is just a killer price for those um, looks like I have some more of those E1 D ooh I see But before that go ahead we have a, a question here it's FX Chiro I don't I'm going to say I don't know I don't say your online name but at NAM they briefly covered a new bourgeois touchstone, dreadnought signature, mm -hmm. TS coming up, Madagascar Torrified Top. Yes. When will that be available, and what's the price going to be? Don't know the price. No, I, do I know the price? Yes, I do. I do know the price. Uh, Madagascar, I'm pretty sure they're going to come in at $39. Yeah, that's right, $39.99. Um, Madagascar has the COA bindings, has all the stuff of the signature, uh, E1, or sorry, of the uh, Dana Bourgeois signature, the DB Sig, if you will, in a touchstone. 39 Madagascar back in sides. I was told to expect those in June. Um, no, I did, was not. I was told to expect those after July. That's what it was. I'm mixing up the two different dates. After July, um, again, we will have the first batch of them. I already know that. I put in my order uh, before they even existed. So we'll have the first batch to do content and all that kind of stuff as well. If you want to reserve those, again, it's 20% down, 25% uh, down, sorry. Um, that will get you your reservation. Um, all that that means is you still have the chance to return that guitar. It does not mean you are stuck with it. If you hate that guitar, it is. But what you do have to do is follow through with the whole process, and you can't cancel that order without, uh, you know, beforehand, because otherwise we have turned down customers that we may not have wanted. But you have to follow through with that order all the way through um, <clears throat> with that, with that uh, deposit, basically. It's kind of like earnest money set up, uh, but except you do get to have that money back if you decide that guitar is not for you. But if you want to get your first hands on those, they're going to be coming in very limited numbers. There's only so much Madagascar that they're going to have available, um, and they held aside for that particular model. So. There Here's a question for you, John. I don't yep. know if you'll reach behind have a real opinion, but... I always have an opinion. Hello. What do you think about the Fender Series Highway Series guitar? Fender, Highway Fender Series Highway guitar? Series. I honestly don't know that guitar. That's why I said I don't know if you would have Yeah, I don't even know the Highway Series. Tell me more about it. Tell me what it is. Maybe I'll have Sorry, a Clint. different opin opinion here. You stumped the John. That doesn't take much. <laughs> I can only keep up with models. Everybody's got a new one all the time. Um... You guys know this is my favorite limited series guitar from Eastman right now. Um, I've been talking about it for a while. And we finally got them back in dreads right now. This is the E1D Special. Um, full gloss finish. Quilted Sepele. This is the double O quilted grade. So it's not as high a grade as the Luthier series. That's got the crazy figured stuff in it. 
um, but these have thermal cured Sika tops. I love the herringbone rosette. I love the 12th fret inlay. Um, I love all the stuff about this guitar, but especially I love that it's a 779 guitar. Um, this is just a killer. Oh my God. Are you hearing that? I want to keep it. You can show up at a jam session and absolutely freak everybody else and go, by the way, I only spent less than $800 for this guitar. Killer. We also have this in an E1 OMCE in a special, I think at least one of them. No, I've got two of the E1D specials, that's what I see. We have an E1 OMCE, but I think it might be spoken for already that just came in. I'm not positive Tech Sayings posted earlier, buy me one, John. I'm not sure which one, so maybe one of each. Hey, Tex, I heard that you're looking for that new Iris, uh, uh, what was it called, the five, something five, something five guitar. Um, I don't know. God, my brain just went totally blank. The small body guitar that we tried out at Iris. I know what you're talking about. I just it was killer. It was a really great guitar. Uh, looks like we have some more AC 122s. Um, PCH 1Ds came in. Let's do this. Let's answer er, this question first. Do Texas it. Is also, also asking, how are the 10th anniversary TSs? TAS, TAS guitars going? Coming? I got news. On the boat, while we were in NAM, I talked to Pepine. He is the guy who's in charge. And I also talked to Dan, who also saw it. We have officially been shipped the first eight. They only thought they were going to get five of them out. Eight of them have been produced. They have been built. So number, serial numbers one through eight are on their way. So we'll have the three that will probably stay here. Um, one, two, and three, as you know, the uh, owners of the TAS. It is our 10th anniversary guitar, by the way. Um, as well as five more guitars will be on their way. They have been put in a container. They're on their way right now to be here with us at the acoustic shop. So the first batch are already been, have already been built. I'm still waiting on the new pick guards uh, that are coming in for those. Uh, I wasn't quite as thrilled as the, with the ones I had as I wanted to be. Uh, so we'll have those. And also the cool stuff that's going to go along with them. I wonder, Jer do, you think, do you think Jeremy got the new uh, uh, polishing Not, cloths? I don't think they're in yet. I saw the proof, though. They, they look made. really good. They showed us a proof of the new polishing cloths. They look really, really nice. There's going to be all kinds Another of Another quick in there. question here, John. Yeah, go ahead. Any Yamaha FG38, sorry, FG830 AB? No. No. Don't have any. Sorry. I apologize. And uh, it also sounds like we need to go to Cork, Ireland because we have two listener watchers. I'm down. Currently at Cork, Ireland. I, apparently it's a hot spot for us and we're going to be there. All right. ACTG2E came in, PCH1OM, PCH2TG Classic. I love that guitar. Um, another one of those E1SSs that I told you was here. E1D Classic, as well as an E1OMCE Special. That's the one I believe that has already been spoken for. Let's see here. E10PTC. This ought to be cool. I haven't seen one of these. How about this, John? Yep, go ahead. Pick four of your favorites. And then we're going to make them choose. What about and then pick what about this hundred? How's the hundred drive going? So we can open this up. up. Hinkley, how's the drive going? How many likes do we have out there, guys? Please like, hit that like button so we can open up again at a hundred likes. We're going to open up the uh, the G A. <laughs> yeah, the the Gibson. Uh, oh my goodness! Oh, uh, did you see this? Look at that. The Gibson 1923. 20, 1923 master model. Uh, these are great. All right, here's look a at that question. top. Before you talk about that, John. Okay, I'm listening. How do those Eastmans compare to a J45 sound-wise and playability? What Eastman? Oh, the the E1SS. The SS. That'd probably be the closest. Yeah. Um, I would say I don't call it a full-on. It's a different sound than a standard uh, J45. There's it's different. I would say that it's. I'd say it's more like the studio, maybe. 
except with a lot of upgrades from the studio. This is a hard call because I think it's, in my opinion, it's a better sounding and playing guitar than that, but that's my opinion. Uh, but it doesn't have all the fancy appointments that even a studio would have. So, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's a super affordable guitar, and we're comparing it to a five thousand or a four thousand dollar guitar J forty five. It feels a lot the same. It plays a lot the same. It's just different. It's got a satin finish on Is it. Is there a comparable in the Eastman range? Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, that, that, that would be the E10 uh, SS. If you looked at yeah. an E10 uh, TC, uh, SS TC, I, just, I think that's a fantastic guitar. Um, I would put it up against anything. It's Two got things before you play that. I think we're going to have to stage a sit-in right now. We're at 72 likes, and there are 160 people watching. So... John's not gonna say a word, not gonna not gonna play a thing until you guys all like the the live stream. Is it working, guys? Hit the like button already. Somebody says, "Does that?" Oh, Alex, does that have a chevron pattern in the back? It feels that way. It's figured uh, mahogany. In a chevron layout. Yeah, it's absolutely That's gorgeous. Pretty. Look at that. Isn't that nuts? That looks like the back of a tiger. But look at this top. That's an Adirondack top, and look at the color for thermo curing. That is freaky beautiful. I love it. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous top. Um, again, and We're you can see it. Look, can you see this through the sound hole? See if you can see that figuring. That is crazy That's looking. That's cool. Can you see it? Kind of. Uh, kind of. I hope you guys can see it. It is nuts in there. Um, beautiful in a parlor size. I've not seen any of these before. something I made up for you guys right there. It's called hit the like button, people. Come on. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Elaine Pascal said it, said it just right. Come on, everybody. Hit that like button now. No. Do it. All right. Uh, so that's the E10 PTC. Um, again, I haven't seen any of the TCs. I waited until they came out. I quit ordering some of these models in the non-TC variant because I knew they were ending those. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to tell you some more stuff that came in. Oh, my God. I see something that's going to knock For everybody 91. out. E10D TCSB, Sunburst TC E10D, E4000, AC322, um, E20 00 TC E20 00. That's pretty cool. Um, and then in the Eastman, I guess that's it for the Eastman. No, I got more Eastmans to sure. say. E10 SSTC. Speaking of that, let's do that since they were asking. And I know another one that's got to sell like, oh, I got so many cool guitars that we have not got to yet. Hey, John. Yes. Would you verify the scale length on the OM Deluxes? The and OM? size 24.9. What is it? Is it 24.9? or? No, it is not. The OM Deluxes, we asked them. They are exactly the same. They are full on. I didn't measure them, but I did ask. Uh, they they went with the, they said the short scale. It's actually a 24.5 scale. Um, it's not 24, 25 and a half scale. Uh, it's a full scale. It's a true OM. It's built after Dana's OM. So the deluxes are a full true OM. We said it on the video. Will Eastman make a P in an SS? Aren't those kind of sloped anyway? A parlor I've not heard of that uh, being done. I've not heard anything about that. We're asking about a J45 style guitar. It's this. It's got this five more likes to go. Thermo nice. cured Adirondack spruce top with a sunburst. Take a look at this side. Look at that. There's some curly in there. I hope you guys can see it. It also has some of that heavy chevron. Uh, feel to it. 
looks super gorgeous. Uh, this one is in the 24 uh, and 7.5 short scale. Peter Svensson missed out on the E1 special. You want to pull that out again later in the stream? We'll try to get back to that, Peter. No, E1D. I know, you're talking about the OMCE. I didn't show him that. But that's a guitar that if you're looking for a J45 style guitar, this is what I would choose. Um, especially at a much lower price than what a J45 would be at. Jacob Randolph wants uh, Why are you beating me to the board wall the when button, I'm not John. done with Eastman yet, Jer? Jer? John, Jer? what? Ignore him and listen to me. <laughs> I'm the one running this. I'm the captain now. All right. Uh, he wants tabs for the hit the like button, people. Come on. <laughs> Could you get him? Yeah, I'll, I will work on the tab for the, Oh, that's a good song, isn't it? Do we have an E40 00? Yes. Jeff I haven't wants opened, to see it. I haven't opened it yet. This one, well, somebody said that well, they. Nobody requested this one. So yeah, I'm, they did. Yes, they did. Somebody said that they were waiting for this you. to be opened and they would purchase it as soon as I got a message about this. If you're that person, I forget who it was. I have an AC 330. Look at the, all this figured mahogany that we're getting in. This is a 330E 12 string jumbo with figured mahogany. Uh, again, this has a non thermo cured top on this because it's a European spruce top on this. I'll use your Y. Um, yeah, look at that. 12 string. I got one of them in stock. Grab it while you can. I, see, that's all I'm going to do, Jay. This way nobody gets mad at me. You know what? I'm, it's not worth fighting. It is worth fighting. That's all we do. Me and you will fight to the death forever. Don't tell me it's I've not got worth something. fighting for. By the way, I'm going to open this E40, it. but no, I'm going to tell you more. what's in this list right now. I didn't finish telling you what's not, in the list. I'm not done with my lyrics. AC? Yeah. People didn't like when you were interrupting me last time. AC 522CE. You know it's E10 true. OOTC. Everything but here's, I do. Shh, 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 this is the one. I do it for easement. This is the one. Guys, I only have one of these. E20D MRTC, Madagascar Rosewood. I only have one. They were supposed to send me two. One of them must not have passed uh, QC. So I'm going to open up this E40 00 first. But before you do that, hit the like let, button, people. No, I, oh. I want to catch up on some questions. Go for it. We're getting behind here. Go. All right. Aaron Santos wants to know, how soon do you anticipate receiving to receive the Eastman 422 CEs with gold fade? Reminds him of the old Taylor 414 CEs with a call for much gold more fade? better advice. There is no 422 in a gold burst. There's a 522, which I have here right now. That's the only gold burst. I have a 522 gold burst here. It is not a 422. 422 is only available in the Dakota fade, which yeah. is a redder fade. Um, and I think I've got one next door right now, a 422. So I've got one next door. I do have a, fi a 522, which is mahogany. Um, yeah, 522, 622. Yeah, that's what I have. David, uh, by the Scott way, Brown. Uh, 422 is not available in a, I lied to you, it's the 722 that's available in the Dakota fade. 422s are only available as natural tops. David Scott Brown requests we get it together. Nobody wants to hear us fight. <laughs> I don't want to hear us either, but you know what. Here it is. Look at how straight this is, you guys. That tells you the level of rosewood that's being put in here. It is straighter than straight. Perfectly quarter sawn, beautiful Indian rosewood. Um, this is in uh, the E40 00. Look at that. This is a TC. Thermal cured. It's not as dark as some of the ones we've seen, but it is a thermal cured Adirondack spruce top. No, this is not. This is not a TC. This is a straight E40 00. I was wondering why it was so light. All right, Aaron got a correction here. It's the 222C in Gold Burst. That is the new Deluxe. That's a Deluxe guitar. Um, that one will be coming in soon. Um, I've been told we will see ours within the next month. Uh, by May at the latest is what they're told. If you want one of those, put your reservation in right now. I know I've got the first batch of them coming. They're supposed to hear, be here by March. Yep, we got the 100. Jeremy's showing it off. All but right. before we do that, look at this. We, we have the 40. The 40. All right. Well, we had a question. This is a responsive guitar.
That's wow. a great guitar. E4000, we have one in stock. It's not a TC, it's just a plain E4000. So, John, is it yes. possible to ship bourgeois to Europe? They're hard to buy in Europe. It's possible. It depends on what we can do. We, we should be able to get that done. If you give us a call, we can see what we can work out and make happen. Correct, Chair? Should be able to. Yeah, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to. All right. All right. You're going to do that mandolin, then I'm going to do this guy. All right. Oh, yeah, I am mic'd up and you're not. This is the M5F. We only have one of them here. Um, I'm hoping to get more of them coming Look at this, they got new cards. Check this out. That's pretty nice, certified card, M5F. Um, Jeremy, you played an M5F this week. It was a little bit different as a prototype. Yeah, but yeah somebody fantastic. asked that earlier in the stream. What did Dana give Jeremy to play? It was an you M5F. You guys want to talk about that, Mandolin? It was a very special one. It's, one, it's a prototype that they're working on right now that will be a varnish finished um, uh, Mandolin. Top secret. Nobody else knew about that, by the way. It sounded great. It did sound great. It's a good time. You already talked about it earlier. Go ahead and open it up. So they just came out with the new Strobo Clip Color. Rechargeable. Rechargeable. So this has now got color screen. I want to dive into it. I haven't even got to touch mine yet. So it's got this in here. I wonder where the color change is. Hold on. Let's see if I can find the color change. In the menu. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found the color change. Oh, check this out. Can you make so you it can do change disco it? mode? Whatever. Yeah, disco mode. Uh, so we could do it in this. I like this, this blue color. Um, we can switch the sweetener, not to base. Obviously, Jason must have been using this one. Equal. Oh, I get, but that's cool. By the way, as you saw right there, Jason, now base will be blue. And you can tell what it is without having to read it in, uh, on the screen. You'll know by your colors. So uh, in this case, I'm going to switch it back to the equal. And then I can go back through and change uh, the color as well to a different blue. And then you have that as well. But here's where it gets really, really cool. It's a great tuner, but now has a USB-C and a quick charge. It's completely rechargeable, but they put a quick charge circuit in there. And I've been told you can charge this in 10 minutes. Um, and in 10 minutes, you'll be able to... You're going to get this from We're here. We're going to get to your question, Matt. We do want to talk about Alvarez. In 10 minutes, you will be able to have an hour's worth of charging time, or playing time, sorry. So let's say you show up at the gig and you forgot to charge it. You can just leave it in for 10 minutes is what they said. 10 minutes gives you an hour of, of playing time. Just 10 minutes. So that's... You get like uh, get 8 or 10 hours yeah, with, a full with a full charge. Alex wants to know, did they make it easier to change the instruments on? I think that's the same process as the... It's the same process, one. but you'll just be able to see it a lot better with the multiple colors. Get easier to lights. Has the James tailpiece, um, full torrified, thermo cured all the way through. Um, has the Bosnian maple, looks great. Does have the Golden Age tuners. I found out, Jared. Did you know this? That it's a different plating, specially done for them. It is a nickelized plating that is not normal in the James tailpiece or the uh, uh, tuners. So it's specifically done for for Dana. So that's pretty cool. I right, just found that out. So we only have one of these in right now. Um, and you can pick it up. I want to say, what are these, $32.99? Do we have one next door? We don't have any S-Styles. Yeah, we don't have any. Um, this is it. So, John, yep. I got a question from Go Anonymous23. Heavy-handed heavy strummer looking at the E20OM, the Lucier, Lucier Series non-cutaway or AC Series 322 or 422. What do you recommend? Heavy Run those by me again. I heard the OMs. E20OM. Luthier mm -hmm. series, long cutaway, AC 322 or 422, heavy-handed, 
Probably the OM, right? I would go OM, maybe the 422. That would be my second one. The OM, heavy-handed Adirondack spruce top, you are not going to bottom out that top. It will take everything you've got and a whole lot more. It is a great option. So I would, if I was my choice, that's where I would go in a smaller body. Jeremy's already unboxed it. This is the Gibson 1923. You guys look, this is a special edition case that only comes in the 1923. It's a reissue of the case that would have come with the original mandolin. All right, this is the first time we've ever unboxed in one. In 1923. Yeah, and, and it says right there, Gibson F5 mandolin, in case you didn't know. All right, inside every one of these, this case has to be, yeah, please don't let that do that, please. Um, I'm going to pull some of this stuff off. This is a fully hand-rubbed varnish finish with way too much toilet paper on it. I'm kidding, it's not actually toilet paper. Somebody went heavy with the uh, Gibson polishing cloths. So you get a uh, double assortment in this particular mandolin. Uh, two, two, two Gibson polishing cloths. Um, take off this toilet paper as well. All right, so in here, this is the 1923 reissue. You'll see up here it tells you 1923 lower master model reissue F5. 100th anniversary. This is based off of the 1923 lore. The case is a reissue. Um, you'll see that we have the polishing cloths. Jeremy's getting all the cool stuff. This is the warranty card. has all the specs for this particular mandolin and pre-packed checklist signed by Dave Harvey, um, as all of these are. Um, look at the back on this. It's beautiful. The finish is gorgeous on this mandolin. Waverly Tuners, actual pearl buttons on here. Um, just looks great right here. Trent's trying to lean in too quick. I put my thumb out to give him a bumper here so that he didn't run into it. Um, again, special uh, edition tailpiece. The color is gorgeous. Um, you're going to want to play it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. um, Fantastic. That shows some of the other case games that came Yeah, with while Jeremy's playing with it here, because you won't be able to hear him. Inside everyone, a leather book has Lloyd inside here, a special certificate of authenticity. Um, very, very cool here. This shows the serial number and what's going on. You do get a Gibson leather strap that's in the braided style. Um, does say Gibson at the bottom. Leather pick pouch with a special Gibson pick inside of it. Um, you do get a reissue of the uh, original catalog that's done in a, in a deal that Chuck talks about the 1923 lore, as well as a letter from the president of GHS, or GHS. Gibson, sorry, that talks about this particular mandolin and the anniversary uh, that's really, really cool. Um, so much cool case candy and stuff that goes along with these mandolins. And this reissue case that's just like the original cases uh, that they had in the original mandolin. All right, you good for another qu few questions here, John? I think so. We got one from Aaron Santos again. I was excited to see you guys visit the Loudon booth. Mm -hmm. How does the S size from Loudon compare to Martin double O or triple O dimension wise? Uh, the uh, it's in between a double O and a triple O. I, in my opinion. It's kind of bigger. It's definitely bigger than a double O. It's not quite to a triple O. It's deeper bodied than that. Clifton, it does not FS, come with a Gibson cigarette lighter. Thicker. Huh? Clifton's asking if it comes with a Gibson cigarette lighter. No Gibson no, cigarette sorry. lighter. Sorry, guys. No. That is That's a very special v mandolin. Issue. That, By the way, that mandolin retails at $19,999 and 99 cents. It's one them. penny away from $20,000. $20? Oh. 20,000. Yeah. And one penny away. So, John? Yes. 
We've had requests that they missed it since they got in late, so we got a request again for the 0040. The 0040. Somebody also asked about this. I've got two the, of these. The Let's special. Yeah, E1D special. This guitar's fantastic. So we're going to go back to that first. I'll grab it since it's right here. I'm going to put this for that, but mandolin hopefully there's back one. over here. That was fantastic. That will not last. Neither will that F, uh, M5F, I bet. I no. bet. By the way, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, call the shop. Um, and even if you don't talk to Jeremy or me, uh, call the shop. 417-720-1223. All of these are available it's to on the sell screen. right now. Is it on the screen? Good. They're all available to buy right now if you want to pick up one. They're just not going to be on our website. And some of these are not going to make our website, I promise. It always happens. Everybody laughs at me when I say it, but it always happens. We will sell some of these. I got... We haven't got to the Atkins yet. Yeah, we have we two special along. edition Atkins. We got hind mandolins to show. I'm telling Gee, you. Gee, Jay. This guitar is fantastic. I've got two of these in stock right now. Has the... Uh, Thermo cured Sitka top, herringbone binding, or herringbone rosette. I love the 12th fret inlay. It's just all gorgeous. Uh, quilted sapele. It's really nice. So there you go. Um, David Scott Brown has the penny for that that mandolin. The 1923 looking, penny. I think he's I think he's looking to split these with somebody. Oh, okay. That's he's a good deal. He's got the penny. You pick up the rest. <laughs> all right. All right. And somebody wanted to see the E40 00 again. Yes. I want to say that was right here. Yep. E40 double O. Double O. That was David Yarber. Only have one of them, guys, and it's not a TC. So if you're, it's going to be even more rare. Again, perfectly run Adirondack spruce. So look at this color variation. There's like none in here. This is really nice. Alex, the seminar went great. Hashtag Nam it. Uh, we had a great time. Hashtag great crowd. Mullet Boy Wonder. Don't forget to hit that every one of them. We had a great videos. time with it. Yeah, it was good. I don't like speaking in public, so I didn't love it all that much, but I think it turned out all right. I hate speaking in public. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got one more Eastman, unless somebody else has one that they want to see. I got one more to show that Nothing I think so will far. be gone before the stream is over. We only have one, and we've been waiting on these for a long while. Again, there's an E10 00TC here. Jamie, we recorded portions of a breakfast session show. We that was fun to play with them, Jens yes. Kruger. We had a blast. We bluegrassed it out. Look at this top. This one looks more vintage than any Eastman guitar I've ever seen. Doesn't that look real? <laughs> That's crazy. Adirondack spruce top on this. Again, this is a lot like the guitar that we uh, did. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go for another big uh, statement here. This guitar is forward shifted braces. The MRTC seems to be this. Is, I saw this on forums, and it is definitely forward shifted. So forward shifted X brace on the MRTCs. Um, Adir uh, I don't know if it's Adirondack spruce bracing. I doubt it. Um, in fact, we talked about that with Dana. And we don't believe that they are. Oh, by the way, Madagascar rosewood back and sides. Look at that. I like that back. Look stripe. at the sides on this. Isn't that cool? That center. <whistles> Beautiful. These ones also, uh, the MRs all have the uh, Goto 510 tuners, which I love a lot. This is what the TAS guitar was based off of, was this guitar, except different. That was my double G run for the day. Or Demogary. There you go. 
What a beautiful top on that. I absolutely love that. That's so vintage looking all the way around. So I only have one MRTC. So if you're looking for an MRTC in a dread, this is it. We just sold the OM while we were gone. Um, Tricolor herringbone. Like I said, this is what we based the uh, TAS guitar after, but we did some serious modifications to it. <laughs> Two big questions. Go ahead. Mike White's asking, what's the advantage to forward shift bracing? It frees up that bottom section of the top. Pulling that X brace there gives it a little bit more depth and a little bit more tone um, because it's less stiff behind there. What originally happened was Martin in the 1930s had it that far forward, forward shifted, so it had more space of vibration that was open, but there was bellies that were building. Again, Martin not knowing much about it, go, and customers really not knowing about it, they got to worry about it because it did change the, uh, especially with nobody humidifying guitars or taking care of them, they built those bellies up, and Martin decided to kind of fix that. Well, what they did was they moved it back, I think it's three quarters of an inch, um, if not a full inch, and they moved it back. Um, and then what that did was got rid of that belly because there was more structure there. That X-brace hit at a further back spot. I'll show you on another guitar. But it scooted it back. But it also didn't let that top move and become as big a sounding guitar. So Eastman created a hybrid. They moved it forward a little bit. But they were always scared to do it because of the, how lightly they built those braces. That they were scared to do a forward shifted brace. But since they started working with Dana, they started working with him, and he likes to do the forward shifted vintage style brace. Thus, the MRTC started to be born. And I know for a fact that our TAS guitar is forward shifted braces. So there you go. Jamie says he gets left stiff when he shifts his bottom too. Say again. Jamie says I get left stiff, left stiff when I shift my bottom. That is true. Uh, that is absolutely right. the truth. Another question. Alex wants to know how close are the Kloss mandolins? Kloss or not? Close. Kloss. Close yeah. mandolins. Okay. Close. Well, that makes the joke funnier. Okay. How close are the close mandolins? Close or not close? <laughs> All right. So Jeremy did a video there. If you guys go back, watch from live from NAM. It's kind of hard to hear, but you will hear in there. They're hoping to have those in our hands by the end of May. And they're going to release them through the store. We will have the very first ones of those. We're going to do some uh, content as well as get those ready to be in the store and available to you guys. So if you want to pre-order those, again, give us a call, 417-720-1, 2, 3. Cody Head's asking, one, two, two, three. what happened to live stream with Richard Hoover at NAMM? The, that was all right, I will tell you what happened. <laughs> we had a little issue with the uh, folks there. We were supposed to have a meeting. Didn't work the way we wanted, but I have a very special production video that we ended up doing with a limited amount of time. So we didn't do it live, and I'm actually glad because we have, with all the you know craziness of all the tech, technical stuff, we decided to go and film it. And we have a very special guitar that we reintroduced to him. I'm not going to say that the person who owned it has the initials TR, but he might have. He definitely have. has the Church Street Blues. It definitely had the Church Street Blues, and this guitar, I've got photos. It was the most iconic meeting probably of all times. Richard Hoover sat down with us. We went over this guitar. We talked about how it was built. Uh, it is probably going to be, I'm hoping to see it in the next three to four months. Um, it's because there's going to be a lot of production that still needs to be done on this this video. But when it's done, you guys are going to be blown away. That was one of the coolest reunions of a maker and a and a guitar that I've ever seen. You agree with that, Jay? That's I cool. Mean, it was it was pretty cool. I hope it turns out the way it you was know what? for me. I'm going to say Richard's cool. Yes, Richard is cool. Hey, before you do that, ah! <laughs> David Yarber is asking: Is the E40 00 TC in the works? E40 00 TC. Yes, we've had them. Available. We've had them a bunch. This one just happened to come in in a, in a non-TC version. It's we've sold a few, lot right? of them. It should be the last batch. They're, they had these on order, so I think they fulfilled those, and I'm just taking all that I can. Um, but I think they just fill, fulfilled the orders on those, but the new ones that are going to be built are only going to be TC in the future. Is that in the end of this? Uh, I had some mandolins hind. We should probably show All right, do hind. the back end first, and then we'll talk about... Okay. We've had two people, or the same person asked twice, ask about Alvarez at NAMM. Okay. When you discuss that. 
Atkins sent us two guitars. One is kind of standard, um, this is, which is this. This is the Triple O 37 in a vintage finish. It does have the crackled finish. Yes, Tex, really, we're really talking close. about Theodore Roosevelt. Yes, TR. TR. Theodore Roosevelt's guitar. It was really cool to have him and Richard in the same <laughs> space at one point. We're going um, to put Richard on the... <laughs> this will have an inch and three-quarter nut width. Uh, it, this is a Triple O 37, not an OM 37 like our vintage with the uh, relicking or heavy aged version, but this is a standard model, uh, triple edge or triple O, so it's going to have the 2475 scale length. <laughs> Alex wants to hear San Juan Hill. Huh? Alex wants to hear Up San Juan Hill. I can't help you there, buddy. Make it up. All right, stop. I'm going uphill. I'm starting to build up speed. That's downhill. You slow down on There you go. Uh, Triple O 37 just came in. Super cool guitar, short scale. Uh, looks great. Inch and three quarter nut width, uh, which is kind of rare for him, but he's starting to do them. I just got told we are got a uh, white rice also on its way from Atkin that is going to come in in the first version with a inch and three quarter nut width. He's never done that before, but he's doing it exclusively for guess who? The acoustic shop. That's who. We're getting right, a lot one. of guesses on the TR, John. Tim Roush, Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor. Nope, it's not him. No. Um, I'm, I may have to straighten that, it out by the time we get done. It was a historian joke, John. Teddy R. charged up San Juan Hill. Oh, okay. Teddy was It was a tie-in. All right, this Throwback. one we missed it. is the first one to come to the United States. This is the brand new 12th fret slope shoulder dread. From Atkin. Absolutely stunning. Um, I did take a peek at this, by the way. I, I did already. Um, That's cool. This is super cool. Tony Romo's guitar. Tony Romo. <laughs> it's Tony Romo. <laughs> Tex wants to know if you got paid for all, tuning all the guitars at NAMM. I tuned a lot of guitars at NAMM. Not that you could hear it. I get total Norman Blake vibes out of this guitar. Like that fingerboard strike. Uh -huh. Jamie likes it. Striping on that fingerboard, John. It's a lot. Huh? What about the fingerboard? It's gorgeous. Oh, it Striping. is. I love it. Very cool vibes to this guitar. There's some really cool uh, bear claw that's happening in here. Uh, the color is great. Uh, good job, Alistair, on that. Um, and as far as I know, this is the only Slope shoulder. It's called the EDS. EDS. Essential D slope. Um, super cool guitar. Like it. 12 fret slot head. All right.
All right, so John, let's answer this question. Do it. It's from Matt. Anything encouraging coming from Alvarez at NAM? Yes, some super, super encouraging stuff. I played their Laureate series. It blew me away. Uh, $1,500 guitar. It was fantastic. I played a couple of their Yaris, Yaris however you want to pronounce it. Um, there was an Adirondack Spruce Dread that just was monstrous. It wasn't my aesthetic. I don't dig that part of it. But I do want to show you guys this guitar and let you hear it. This is a custom shop guitar that we built for a customer. It's been waiting on this for a while. This is a What's Bedell. the uh, prognosis on Alvarez? Uh, we are going to probably, I'm going to work with them. I, we've talked about it for a while, but I think we're going to carry that upper line stuff. This is a Rio Burst, by the way, Bedell. Um, look at this back. We picked out this back. It's just fantastic. Isn't that killer? Uh, Koa binding on this guy. A Rio Burst. And I played this a minute ago. It is fantastic. Inch and three quarter nut width. Um... <laughs> cool custom burst on here. It's called the Rio Burst, but look at that Brazilian. <whistles> See the sides. <whistles> yeah, beautiful. Uh, again, all uh, custom built for a customer. I'm really excited about that. That is a killer sounding guitar. I love that. All right. A couple all more right. things that I want to do before we get out of here. And I'm done. Beautiful amber pick guard. Says Jamie. It needs one. All right, here's a Heinz. An amber pickguard would be cool. Yeah. It would need a, a pickguard for me. By the way, there's some other mandolins that came in. 515 CS. Um, I think some 515 uh, or 505 limiteds came in, which are the black top uh, ones. Those are fantastic too. Ooh, this is nice. We're getting ready to wrap this stream up. So if anybody wants to see something, yep, this is it. Speaker piece. This is a Hind. It looks yeah, like, good. man, they did step up the uh, finish work. Stephen Hind, Way good job, Steven. buddy. Finish looks great. Much nicer. Much, much, much nicer. sounding mandolin right there so there you go got a question on from a guy I like his name Robbie Dooby Doo Robbie Dooby Doo Robbie Dooby Doo he's asking about that last uh, Bedell yep is that in the same value quality value range of the Boucher SG52V different it's gonna be a lower price this one's gonna be a little bit higher with a custom finish and all that it's still less than a 52V is that what he asked you for yeah. SG um, gosh, they're going to be very similar price, but this one is Brazilian Rosewood. So value, it's way higher value because it's going to be a Brazilian Rosewood upper end, Brazilian, at, shoot, shoot, just incredible price. Um, different tonal palettes. That one's a little more balanced, um, in my opinion. There's a little bit more of a modern tone to the SG-51. You said the 51 or, yeah, 51. 52. Be, oh, 52. Um, B, so... They're just different. I, gosh, this is so hard to make go, is, is this one better than that one? I don't know. I, I don't think so. Um, just the Brazilian alone makes that just yeah. incredible. Next just question from Siggy Me. What's the scale length on the Atkins Scope? I believe that the scale, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm going, I think it's a standard scale. I think it's 25 and a half, but I don't, 
know for sure. It right. could be a 24-7-5. I just don't know. Jeremiah, you, I would agree, a comparison with the Hind and the Elias would be awesome. Yep. And we'll probably be doing that in the next couple weeks. That's probably a good idea. Is Hind still making piccolos? Yes, if you order one. Special order it. And Danny Becca, or Baca, asking, are there any E10Ds in there? Do you want to open one Yeah, of those? I told you that. There's an E10D SBTC. So E10D TC SB. Do we know the price on that mandolin? For this you? one? Yeah. I have no idea. I'm going to guess it to be right in the 10 range. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's my guess. Call us. Um, the, yeah, it should that? be in the system. I don't know. Honestly, Delane. guys, we got on home last night at 11 o'clock in here and pretty much dropped stuff off, went home, and came back to work. I had to be back up at 5 in order to pick up, get my kids up. Um, and As John said earlier in the stream, all these have been made products, but we don't have photos, so they're not released on the website. Yes. So Give if you want call. them, buy them before they get to the website because a lot of the stuff's going to disappear. Um, God, this Bedell is a fantastic. You good? Guitar. Yeah, he's in go, go, go. go. Monster sounding guitar and looking guitar. We lost your feed for a second. What? We lost your feed for a second and then it started playing the, uh, the trailer. Why? I don't know. What'd you do, Jay? Did you push a button? It was Trent. It was I bet Trent. you hit a button. It was it's Trent. Trent. It wasn't me. No, you're one monitoring, Jay. You got this. I, it went away. <laughs> it wasn't even there, so I couldn't. I, hey, guys, can we vote that Jason has to do every one of these lives with me and be the monitor? I think it's much better. I think everybody's going to vote that I don't. No, let's vote but that he does. E10D This, this app is coming out now, John. What's coming out? It's, it's news. What is it? I am going to be doing all of them with you. I've decided I like your company so much that I'm hosting all your live streams. I like it. Welcome to Misery. That was all the Atkins, right? That is all the, the Atkins. Two. We got more coming. We have another Hind mandolin that came in, another Hind guitar, D18 style. There's a lot of stuff we did not get to. We also to. have more Atkins coming, though, right? You said it. Too. Yeah, uh, there's a uh, white rice white that's rice. on its way. Um, we also just got in 404 BK, so if you're looking for an oval hole, mahogany back and sides, mandolin, I've got two of those that just arrived. That's kind of a rare bird. We haven't seen one this of those in. This just in? Shh, shh. Comment from Bluegrass Picker. Yes, Jason, with four exclamation mark points. I was the one that pushed it first, and then you said you're going to do it, so now you're stuck doing it. He likes me now. sides on this. Look at the side. Oh my god. Uh oh. You guys get ready. You ready? Ready? Look what I just saw. Oh yeah. They skinned Tony oh, the Tiger. Oh yeah. <laughs> they, they skinned, skinned him. him. They put him on the back of that guitar. <laughs> it's a tiger coated it's a tiger coated guitar. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, this just in? This just in. Yes, Jason. No, John. Five exclamation Oh, I want to go, how about, yes, Jason, no, Can John. Can we get six? You know what Jason's not going to like about this? He's going to have to stay past 3.30. Oh, my. <laughs> you mean... <laughs> He's not going to get to go home. Nine o'clock at night. <laughs> There you guys go. Um, so many cool things. Zach Gibson, 1923 mandolin. Fantastically gorgeous. Super special and rare. Nobody has those in stock, I don't think, anywhere. Um, there's a lot of killer guitars in here, a lot of killer mandolins. Um, yeah, guys, so much came in while we're gone, and so much more coming in. Larave is, uh, not Larave, sorry, Loudon will be in the shop. I've got so three guitars from there. Jeremy. Somebody? He's the one that goes home at three. Uh, See, are you leaving? I'm going to teach lessons. Oh. oh. Bye. All right. Well, um, uh, Loudons will be coming in. Big, go, our big followers on YouTube. 30,000? 30, 30,000? Yeah. We did.
them. Subscribers, thank you. <laughs> you smell funny. <laughs> His breath is awful. Um, so yeah, Loudon will be coming into the store. We talked to a lot of folks. We're hoping to see some new brands working there. The Iris Dreadnought is awesome. You can pre-order that now. And that Slope um, Dread was cool, too. The Slope Dread was awesome. The Brazil I can't wait to see the Brazilian one in inch and three-quarter. Uh, slope Dread, oh, that's going to be awesome. Alvarez um, is going to be cool. I think that'll be great. The very first two square shoulder dreads are coming here, according to uh, the folks at Iris. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, close. Close. The very first mandolins will be coming in. Put your res reservation. The new deluxes from Eastman uh, available. The new PCH mandolins are available, I believe, on our website right now. You can pre-order those. If not, uh, call us, and we can get those for you as well. Three ninety-nine. dollars Collings had a cool new guitar again, right? Which one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they the did. Prototype. It was a killer. The prototype Hopefully was Hopefully you can awesome. see that at the Acoustic Shop soon. Yeah, well. I would like to see that. Yeah. Or phone call. Send an email or phone call to Collings, guys. Uh, I want to carry that guitar. I really do. I think you guys need to hear about it and see it. Uh, Steve Nolly who does some amazing work over there as head of their production. You know what I think, Built John? a really cool prototype. I want to start a campaign. Uh, I think 100 emails yeah. today from the 100 viewers would really make a difference to Steve S and Steve at Callings. Steve at CallingsGuitars.com. I think that's yes. his email address. I'm not actually even sure. I'm pretty sure it is, though. <laughs> Give him a, or a mess. Or just call him. Or just bus tour down to Collings. That's what we'll do to Austin. I want to sell that guitar because I want to have it in here so I can play it. That's what I really do this for, is I get a chance to play all these guitars that you guys buy. So, this uh, just in? So it's fantastic. Yes? Michael Madsen. Yes, Jason. Four check marks. Four check marks. Huh. I think that's, that's not an explanation. They're green check marks, too. Oh. So I think that's a go. <laughs> Let's go check bar. Thanks, everybody. This is yeah. also an hour and a half long stream. It is a long stream. Holy smokes. Thanks for I'm hanging tired. in there with us. Thanks for engaging. Yeah, buy we guitars. Love you guys. Help me out. We spent so much money at NAM. I need help. So, buy some of these guitars. Mike, we already covered the TAS guitars earlier. You're going to have yeah. to rewind it, but they're Hit coming. Hit the rewind. We got all coming. be available. Yeah. The gist of it. There's eight. There's eight of them on coming. the water that's already doing this. As long as they don't fall off. I hope they put the container in the middle of the ship. But you got that music. Uh, the TikTok. Yeah, anyway. Um, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. Hit that like and subscribe button. Lots more cool stuff. Tomorrow is Takeover Tuesday. Jeremy's probably going to talk about all these mandolins, I bet, including the 404. Um, also, the, you know, the new uh, tuners from Peterson. So many cool products. So many things happened. Follow the blogs. Um, and stop the haters from hating on the fact that we just didn't have data in uh, Anaheim. Guys, guess what? Disney people eat up da data. They're just the whole time filming stuff and downloading stuff. It's nuts, right? Yeah, John. It was me. No. Oh, by the Make way. a grown man cry. Hey, get, yeah. Guess what? Guess what, guys? Happy Super Bowl to the world champions, Kansas City Chiefs. Did you Bye, try to cut everybody. me off? You tried to cut me off, didn't you? Bye, you can't everybody. cut me off. You Bye. can't.